Hello guys, how y'all doing? This is guys good news today. And I just wanted to give y'all <clears throat> some things that I've been going through. It's been very, very, very deep. This is a uh, part one. Some of of my testimony. God's been urging me to tell y'all these things. All right. For three years, well, I say several years, but three years, I've been walking with Jesus. Okay? Three years I've been walking with Jesus. <clears throat> And it was to destroy the works of the, the wicked one himself. Right? And uh, the things I've been through with Jesus, you couldn't imagine. You just, you just, you really couldn't imagine. You have to be open minded about these things. I come into who I really didn't know who I was at first. And Jesus taught me everything. When I say he taught me everything, he taught me everything. <clears throat> and um, right now, Still going through a little something, but it's okay. He makes ways for me. So. He makes ways for me. But, um. I go through a lot of things. Y'all couldn't imagine. Do you know that I am the light of the world? Do you know that it took me uh, three years to do these things? But it took a full year to try and get y'all to open up y'all eyes about what's going on in this world. You see, your government is not who you think your government is. Your government has to answer to that government up there. They don't tell you these things. The only one that can appoint and anoint kings is God. Understand this. This is something I want y'all to see too now. <clears throat> and this is what's going on while I'm talking. But in the mix of it, I'm going to show you. Okay? This is how serious it is now. This is what they do. Do you see him? I want you to see him now. In the mix of this testimony. This is your government. This is your government. This is how real this is. Because they don't want me to speak upon these things. You see, I'm going to speak upon it. Because I have no lying in me. For three years, and it's really kind of making me mad right now. I've been walking this earth and I've been doing things to, uh, to open y'all eyes about what's going on around you. And I'm going to show you something in a few minutes too. Y'all bear with me. Because I'm going to talk to y'all and I'm going to teach y'all something. Things that you couldn't even fathom. Your minds couldn't understand these certain type of things. 
Right. Here we go. One more time. Now, that's a police helicopter now. Do y'all know this? I want y'all to know this. This is very serious. Now, they've been trying to keep me from speaking my testimony for a very long time. They've been trying to keep me from entering in my ministry for a very long time. They've been trying to keep me from exposing the truth of what y'all don't know. And to open your eyes. Do you know what I've done for this world? With walking with Jesus and God. It was to expose the tricks and the lies of the enemy. Do you know? That the same people that y'all praise are the same ones that's still in your destinies. Are the same ones that's taking your blessings without you even knowing it. You have no idea. I mean, you really have no idea. You have the army involved in this. You have the uh, the fake prophets, the false prophets in this. You have witches. You have uh, warlocks. You have your president. Yes, your president is the main key to this this uh, charade. The one y'all praise so much, but he steals and they steal everything that y'all have. Your president is a thief, and I don't care if you like it or what I said to you or not. Your president is a, a real thief. You have no idea how much he stole from me. You have no idea how much he's stolen from y'all. Open your eyes. What you can't see behind the veil. What well, God told me to tell you what you what you need to see. What you can't see. It's been done right in front of your eyes and you can't even see it. Open your eyes, guys. I'm going to speak upon some things that you're going to be like, wow. I never knew this and never knew that. I've been in this situation for several years. They've been trying to hold me down. They've been trying to keep me from speaking my testimony. They've been trying to keep me from um, um, doing certain things. They've been trying to keep me from manifesting certain things. Um, they've been trying to keep me from... Uh, they tried to stop me from my destiny so many times that it don't make no sense. And I mean, it really doesn't make any sense. You have the police involved in this. You have fake pastors that's involved in this. Uh, you have um, witches that's involved in this. Now, this started back two years ago. Almost, yeah, a year and a half ago. Yeah, two years ago. So, I want y'all, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to add these times up of me speaking upon these things of what's going on. And that then transpired in the world from then. So, stay with me and stay on key. At the time, I'm going to speak upon some things. At the time, when, uh, this is the first one. At the time, when you heard about um, this this president when he first came in office four four years ago, and him Russia uh, 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 and China and them and all them this this um, he was speaking upon uh, a witch. 
Now, why would a president be speaking about witches? Open your mind up. Why would your president be speaking about witches? Now, this was a couple of years ago. Now, this was like a year and a half ago or something. Why would your president be speaking upon witches? He is a president. Why would he be speaking upon, upon such things and such acts? Follow me. So they had been looking, talking about some more witch hunt this, witch hunt that. Yeah, okay, all right. This is when I was starting my uh, the key ministry with the Lord. This is when I was, uh, but this was before I was, this was when I was really, really walking with the Lord. I was already walking with him, but this is when he told me to do a certain thing, and I'm going to show you what I do. And y'all might have seen this throughout the whole, um, basically half of the world. Basically half of the world. All right. Let me show you something. Now, y'all follow me now. Y'all stay with me. Stay with me now. But I want y'all to know some things, and I want y'all to open up your eyes to what's going on. These people are called destiny stoppers. This is who steals your destiny. This is who stops you from coming into who you really are. This is who stops you from becoming who you really are in Jesus. Understand now. This is who really stops you from coming in who you really are in Jesus and to come up out of that bondage and to come from out of those chains. Do you know who I am? I am the remnant bride of Jesus. I am the Enoch bride of Jesus. I've walked with Jesus fully, fully. Do you know that when it came down to the point where um, they was doing the witch hunt and all that stuff there, at that time, right then, I was doing my works then. And that was to bring y'all out of bondage, the 430 years, right? Okay. I broke you out the first time with the 430 years, right? That's when they they figured out, oh, he, he broke every curse. I broke every curse in the world. I broke generational curses. I broke every curse that they had. Generational curses, okay? That was the 400 years of slavery. I broke that the first time. That's when they was talking about, oh, we finna bring in martial law. Oh, we finna bring in martial law. But then... They thought about it before they did it, but they was about to do it because they was getting their armies ready and everything. They was about to do it. And I broke them out. So what they did was, instead of them bringing the army in, what they did was, they signed another 400 years. What they did was, they gave y'all stimulus checks. Stimulus checks and everything else. Instead of giving you the whole portion of what you're supposed to be getting for being broken out of slavery. You follow me? So they give you stimulus checks, cut you down from your real money of what you're supposed to be getting. America owe a lot of people and they owe the people of America their monies. They, they, they real inheritance. They, they owe y'all y'all inheritance. But this the thing. You have to go through Jesus to get it. You have to go through Jesus to get it. Understand this. And Jesus is going to teach you a lot of things. I want y'all to know this. But you have to be, you have to follow Jesus. You have to pick up your cross and you have to walk with him. The last video I just made was speaking upon 
um, picking up your cross and walking with Jesus. See, in order to know these things, in order to be able to see these things behind what's really going on is that uh, your government is a very wicked government. They are very wicked people. They um, they do things according to Satan. They don't do things according to God. Don't let your president lie like he's he's a remnant of God because it's a lie. Why would he be bringing in vaccines? Do you know what that vaccine is about? A vaccine is a mark and also is to lose your soul. Jesus would not take you into heaven if you lose your soul to that vaccine. If they stamp you with that vaccine, it is a mark and you will lose your soul. Uh, afterwards, if you don't take it, they're going to kill you. Afterwards, you lose your soul and you will not enter into heaven. You will enter into hell. Okay? So follow me. Why would your presidents be trying to push a vaccine? Why? And he's supposed to be a man of God. You see him with, with pastors and everything, right? But before we get into that part, let's speak upon all the things that I've done to try to break y'all out of bondage. I broke every generational curse in the world. You don't hear about these things about me because they trying to keep me silent. Okay? He's stolen my kingdoms. And I want them back. And I'm coming to get them back. This is why he put his, his, uh, his face up on that nickel. This is why he put his face. Now, y'all can hate me or I don't care. I really don't care about this. But I'm going to speak the truth. This is why he put his face upon that nickel. I mean, upon them, that coin. This is why he went over there to, the, uh, to Jerusalem and tried and orchestrate everything. Which he had no doing. He had no manner of doing. Which is God's land. Do you understand? Yep. Your president is the enemy, which he had no reason of going over there doing, of putting his face, of, of trying to sign an Abraham cord. That is not none of his doing. Do you understand? That is not his land. That is God's land. You see, he tries to make himself a king. He's not anointed. To be king. But guess who is? That's right, me. But this the thing. And I'm so, so mad right now. Because of all the works that I went through to get y'all up out of bondage. But not only that, to free you from slavery. Second time. That was the first time. So what they did was they signed another. Um, and they signed another slip. They signed another contract. I'm going to say that because this is how they do it. They signed contracts to bring you back into slavery. Which caused of the, uh, the atonement. Um, the atonement. The um, atonement contract which is um um which is i'm trying to think of it it's the atonement contract to bring you back into the religious uh spirit their religious spirit is a bad thing a lot of people think that oh uh, uh this is my religion this and that no see god is not religious god is spiritual god is a kingdom he is not a religion. That's what people have to get it understood at. So y'all can get mad at me all you want. But I'm going to speak the truth to you. God is a kingdom. Remember this. God is a kingdom. He is spiritual. Everything he deals with. is He deals with spirits. Okay. That's how. I, I know these things. Because I deal with a lot of spirits. 
and um, how they try and control you and manipulate and all this, okay? Understand this now. All right. God is a kingdom. He deals with spirits. And he is a and he is not religious. Understand these things, okay? I want y'all to know this. So don't let them lie to you. Anyone that says, oh, I'm religious, it's my religious thing. Okay, it's understood that it's your religion. But understand that it's a spiritual thing. It's not being religious. So you get what I'm saying? Religion, that religion is a religious spirit that keeps you in bondage. Okay? That's what religion is about. It separates the people from, um, it separates people from other people of different cultures. So in all, it separates. Period. Instead of coming together, because God is a kingdom, all people comes to the kingdom, all nationality, all colors, all culture, blue, red, green, it doesn't matter what color you is. It becomes a kingdom. Everybody is up under one head. One main Godhead. Right? But when it comes to religious, it separates everything and everyone from their nationalities of who you are. So you get me. Alright, follow me. Follow me now. Second time I broke y'all out of bondage. And I told you I'm the light of the world, right? Now, from me to you. I don't know if y'all probably didn't seen this, but most likely you have. You either probably seen it on the internet or you seen it in one of your stores. Somewhere where you um where you go go to. Someone probably showed you. But this is mine. And this is stamped and approved. Do you see this? Um, let me get a good picture of it. Let me make sure I flip it around. Give me a second. Hold on. All right. Right there, I want you to see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Get a good picture of the camera. Hold on, guy. Now, do you see what this says? Get a good picture of it. It says, "Go to YouTube. 432 Hertz Meditation." I hope y'all can see it clearly. Hold on, let me get a good picture of it. I'm trying to flip the camera around. <laughs> I'm trying to get the get the camera on it good though. Okay, there it is. Yeah. All right. Now, do you see that? Do you see what that says? <laughs> trying to get a good old picture of it. This says. This says. Four thirty-two hertz meditation. 432 hertz healing meditation. 432 hertz crown chakra meditation. Uh, read your Bible every day. Three times, read your Bible every day. Repent and ask for forgiveness. Drink plenty of water. Pray three times a day. Don't take vaccine. It's a mark. Um, Fasting, salads, fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, fish. Build a relationship with him. Get closer to him. And thank him every day for everything that he's done for you. As you can see, there's my uh, information on the bottom right there. And I say God's good news for you today. My contacts, my YouTube, all that. All right. And it says, while you're praying, plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your life. Now, 
Do you see that? Right there is what I took to enlighten the world, to open their eyes to what's going on. Second time of coming into bondage. I mean, second time of bringing y'all out of bondage. Now, when I was going, when I kept going with it, the first time it broke every generational curse. I broke every generational curse. I'll teach you how to do that on my spiritual teaching and my ministry and all that stuff there. Um, but it has to do with a lot of this, this food. It has to do with food. It has to do with a lot of things. Um, now, with the, with, the, um, with the second time of bondage, the second time of bondage that I broke y'all out. Now, when I broke y'all out the second time, they come with the virus. See, y'all don't even know these things. These are things that's been done in the background without y'all even seeing these things because you're too blind to see what's really going on. When you speak to Jesus and you speak about this, and I want y'all to take this to God, and I want y'all to take this to Jesus. I walked this earth two, three times. I walked this earth two, three years. I'm, well, I'm gonna say three years, almost four years, to break all these curses, to um, to enlighten the world, to um, bring y'all out of bondage, to uh, to bring me out of bondage myself. Um, a lot of things. This second time, now, they came with the virus. Instead of them saying, okay, we're going to enforce the martial law. He come, this wicked one comes with all these tricks. And also your president, he's involved in it too. That's the thing. Your president is involved in a lot of things. These pastors, these uh, main leaders, this is what they call the... Um, this is what they call the Babylon church. The Babylon, um, this is what they call Babylon. Now, it said Jesus is coming for his, second, for his church, right? This is the rising of the church. But, the first one was Babylon, which is these uh, main, um, supposed to be leaders, supposed to be uh pastors and leaders and things like that and I'm going to expose some of them also at the same time to let you know who they are who they, who to be looking for and who not to be who not to mess with because it's very serious and as you can see right now most of them that now that you went on went on YouTube I I pray that y'all go to YouTube and look at some things now that you see some of the YouTube uh got some of the YouTubers that came off the YouTube. The reason why they came off the YouTube is because I came off. The reason why is because they know the curtain's closed. This is real. This is not fake. This is something I speak with you with the truth. And this, is, this comes from Jesus and God. They know it's judgment time. They know it's judgment time. This is real. This happens from the supernatural to the natural. The reason why I'm so highly <clears throat> that I'm so uh, I've done a lot of things for Jesus, guys. I've done a lot of things walking with Jesus. It's the best thing I can say that ever happened to me. We've done a lot of things. And we've done a lot of things to bring y'all out. Y'all don't even know it. But you still stay in bondage. Because you have no knowing of what's really going on around you. And I pray that y'all open up your eyes. There's so much that we've done to... to to actually open your eyes. The Lord has done so much for us to really open your eyes. I couldn't have done this 
without him. You hear me? I couldn't have done it without him. So now that I've become a very highly person in the realm, um, which is things that I can see here in the natural that you can't see with your eyes, that I can see with my eyes. I am a supernatural being. I'm not just a regular human being. Okay? I want you to know this. What you're looking at is, um, you basically called an angel, um, one of God's sons. Uh, uh, um, they call us, <laughs> they call us, uh, some of them call us ministry angels. So I don't know if y'all ever heard of it, but, um, Angels with ministries. But we see what you can't see behind the veil. So just say that tree right there. You see that tree? The way you looking at that tree, you look at it as you just see a tree. Do you know that I see the outlining of that tree and the life form of that tree? The spiritual sense of that tree, meaning I can see that tree aura with my eyes. So I see supernatural things in this realm and in the spirit realm. So I also can see in the spirit realm with just being here in the natural. This is how much it took to carry my cross with Jesus, but at the same time, Jesus put a lot of things in, a lot of things in me. Now I gotta say he's the best. But with me by hearkening with him and and just being there with him every day, all day, up and down, every day studying from sun up to sundown, doing this right here. This, doing this right here, uh, doing my endeavors, um, um, it took a minute for me to, to do these things, but I had to also destroy the works of the devil first. I don't even like to say his name. I had to destroy the works of the wicked one first and expose him. Not only that, destroy his kingdom in the spiritual realm, so now he's his kingdom in the spiritual realm has been destroyed now he's in the natural so you get it you couldn't imagine who I am like I said 